So was it easy jumping back into the roles? Um, I feel like I have a, this relationship with Ty um, at this point that, yeah, it, 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 it wasn't easy, but it was definitely... Um, damn, it's hard not to use the word easy. It was like sophomore year, I think. There we go. You know, it was like freshman like year. Back. We're like yeah, yeah. fresh meat, trying to figure out where we belong, right. what we do, why we do what we do. And now it's like, okay, now we have decisions to make. We need to buckle down. We need to get to fitness. Mm -hmm. And I think... I think it is. It feels like sophomore year. I think it was like it was. I think it, it maybe it was a little challenging at first to sort of step back into into the waters of Tandy and Tyrone. But I think they're still, you know, they're the same same people that they were before, with just just a little more flavor to them. Right. And last season, Olivia, you were on the soundtrack. So Aubrey, will we be hearing from you this season? Yes. Any, can you say any more about that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You just gotta listen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Will we get any more covers out of you? Any other? I uh, will see. <laughs> I know. Well, I hope so. We talk about it all the time, yeah. and and uh, and there's so many opportunities for us to do that, but it's gotta feel right, you know. Exactly. And we don't want to force it. We want it to feel very authentic and organic to whatever the scene is or the episode. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day we'll see. Maybe we'll do a whole like musical episode. We'll see. <laughs> Where do you guys feel your characters can grow in the second season? Really developed. I think both Tandy and Tyrone have a, like a lot of big lessons to learn this season. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we touch on some pretty heavy topics. First season, we focused on police brutality, suicide, drug addiction, sexual assault, a lot of heavy stuff. Season two, we dive into the realm of human trafficking. And it's very real, it's very alive, not just in the US, but in the whole world. And um, Tandy and Tyrone can sit there and they can talk about it, but the great news is, is they're not just talking about it, they're doing something about it. And so they definitely evolve in that way. They don't stop at no, which is one of the things that I admire most about both of them is they can challenge each other. Like when one person says no, the other person can be like, well, yes, and here's why, mm -hmm. or vice versa. And I think both of them sort of evolve in that way. Their powers have evolved so much more. We're not just teleporting or manifesting light daggers anymore. I mean, he's popping around so fast you can't even keep up with them. <laughs> and Tandy has this a lot of new tricks up her sleeve and um, I think everyone's going to be really excited to see how they've grown not just physically but also emotionally and mentally. Right. Are you seeing people in, around the world love your show? I definitely think it's, it's Tyrone and Tandy's relationship. I, I would think so. Um, a lot of people want them to be, you know, more intimate, but I, I think the beauty of season one was just the fact that they were dedicated to being there for one another, more so than being, you know, a boyfriend or, or, or a girlfriend, you know, it was, it was more so about being that one person that cares enough to check on you and, and cares enough to help you in, 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 in whatever way you need, you know, and, and that companionship is something that we, you know, obviously see in, in a lot of film and television, but not not so much with a, a young black male and a, a young white, you know, female. So I think it was an interesting, you know, twist to have on, on, on television. And I, I think that's the one thing that a lot of people fell in love with, you know, just seeing these unperfect teenagers and seeing themselves in, you know, the, the things that we go through. And with the introduction of Mayhem this season, how is it going to affect both of your characters? I think a lot of questions are going to be answered, um, but first there's going to be even more questions than you could even, I mean, they're, they're definitely mayhem has been introduced and they are trying to grasp and cope with the idea of this thing that they were not expecting to, mm -hmm. they, they had it under control and now things are getting a little rocky and a little tricky and so I think there's a lot of confusion and a lot of questions that need to be answered, but um, again, Tandy and Tyrone, they'll figure it out. Well, the fact that Mayhem is their, you know, it's Bridges, this person that was trying to help them, how does that interact with their relationship and, and that dynamic change we're talking about? Well, to say, I don't want to like give away anything, obviously, but um, Bridget, like Bridget, respectively, comes back this season with a little 
you know, less pep in her step. She's kind of developed a little bit of PTSD from everything that happened. So you kind of see Ty and Tanny become these protectors for her and kind of like reassuring her that, you know, everything is okay and that we have a job to do, you know, like we can't sit around and kind of wonder what's happening. We kind of just have to tackle it face, you know, head on. So that's another aspect that, that you'll see this season as well. Since a lot of your powers are, you know, added in post production, mm -hmm. have you gotten used to acting, you know, like yeah. you know, does it feel awkward at all? Or, or like yes it? and no. It's kind mm -hmm. of ridiculous some of the stuff we have to do mm -hmm. because obviously a lot of the things go in after we're done shooting it. So sometimes you feel really dumb in front mm -hmm. of like a hundred crew members when right. you're like throwing daggers. You're not really throwing daggers, mm -hmm. so like just kidding, I totally am throwing daggers. Exactly. But yeah, no, it, it uh, it's definitely weird, but I think we've gotten used to it. Yeah, I yeah. think it definitely, like, especially because like we're so comfortable with our characters now and we have such like a grasp of who they are and like what they're gonna do in certain moments is it definitely like it's fun. It's fun, it's weird, but it's totally fun. Right.